All right, so here's today's debacle. Um, got them over and started running on one cylinder. Um, so we changed the spark plug on it and it still ran on one cylinder. I pulled the plug out, held it against the block, <clears throat> turned the motor over and I had plenty of spark coming out of the spark plug. So I put my finger over the spark plug hole and turned it over and I had zero compression or very, very little. Not enough to, uh, not enough to uh, start or, you know, fire. So I pulled the valve cover off and here's what I found. I already taken them out but the connecting rods, or sorry, push rods were bent, broken, there's a piece of one in there, and it's just uh, destroyed. So I am going to pull this head off and see the extent of the damage. Hopefully, um, you know, maybe one of these valve guides got pushed out and caused the other one to, you know, compress and break. <clears throat> push rod and stuff but uh, oh sorry about my voice it's the day after July 4th weekend and it was a <laughs> it was a good weekend so I'm a little rough today but uh, let me go ahead and pull this thing apart and we'll get this head off and we'll see what's going on in there okay so once the uh, air box and assembly is off in the front of the carburetor here we can get to the shroud and we gotta start taking that off um, this assembly was held on by a 12 millimeter head bolt and a couple of 10s here and a 10, two 10s here that also held on the, the fuel pump down in here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this shroud off. First we've got to take these off to get this part and then um, that grill will come off and then a couple of screws around the outside and this cover will come off and then we can tackle this mess and uh, get to the head so I'll be back all right with the uh, shroud off you can see I'm dealing with a uh, pretty big fire hazard here uh, these cooling fins are blocked off with uh, oily grassy dusty junk so I mean that could that could have been catastrophic Anyway, you look at it. So I'm going to get this all cleaned out here, and then we'll go ahead and get this head off. Take the intake manifold off, pull the head off, and then we'll see what's going on. All right, for the most part, that's, you know, blowing out all the heavy stuff. Um, what you're going to need to do is take off these uh, heat shields. Actually, they're not heat shields. What they're, what they're for is they're all around your motor, and then you have the shroud on the top and the fan blows air down through here and these shields keep the air flowing around the engine the proper way so in order to get this shield off there's a 10 millimeter bolt on the bottom and you have to get to it well depending on your mower I had to get to it with a uh, quarter inch drive and a 10 millimeter socket to get way up underneath here but like I said every mower is different so these motors come on a handful of them and uh, Got that shroud off, got everything cleaned off. Uh, my electrical connections and junk are mostly out of the way. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is pull off this air intake. And once the air intake's off, I will have better access to the head. So we'll continue on. Okay, with the air intake out of the way, um, I just clipped some wire ties to hold the wires back. Got the air intake and carburetor off as one piece just had to unhook the linkages which are very simple and I can see now that I'm having very good access to the head um, I'm gonna go ahead now and disconnect the fuel probably from the filter uh, and to the top of the head and get this out of the way and then I can move oh, yeah, I gotta move the coil, pull the coil off because the coil is bolted to the head. Um, once that's off, just clean this up a little bit more and get this head off. So, continuing on. <clears throat> Alright, here we are, moving right along. Uh, a couple more things I gotta do is detach the governor plate from the hot side of the head, and that's with this 10 millimeter head bolt. Uh, take note of where the plate is 
on this bolt because you can see that that's a uh, elongated hole and wherever you have this on that bolt uh, tells you where your high idle is uh, at wide open so you want to make sure it's there because your idle will be screwed up when you're done if you don't put it back in the same area uh, then I, and then after that under here are two bolts that hold on the exhaust manifold to the bottom of the head and I believe they're they look like 12 millimeter heads on those and then you got your head bolts there's one there one there one here and one inside um, and I think it's just those four I'm pretty sure it's just those four so let me go ahead and get this apart and then uh, we'll go ahead and get that off alright now that the exhaust manifold is taken off on this side and loosened on that side so it will come away from the head the head is now free to come off so I just gotta pull these 12 millimeter head bolts out and this head will come off and then we will see the extent of the damage so hang on well here's where we're at so far uh, I pulled the head off and cleaned the surface and I'm noticing some damage right here uh, that's where the push rod slides in and out and it started wearing away at the engine there the block and you can see first of all you can see my valves are all broken and I believe that this is due to heat um, probably from all that grass and junk being stuck in the fins it just got hot and came apart so uh, this motor is due for a rebuild I believe but uh, you can see the guide you see how this guide is supposed to be, look like that this one's tore open and that allowed <clears throat> that push rod to lay down and slide in and out on the hair and it ruin that so I'm gonna need to get rid of this lip somehow and make sure that this surface is perfectly flat before I can even think about putting another head on it uh, and that's that's if that's the only problem I don't know if there's any more issues inside so I'm gonna probably have to pull this plate off and check out what's going on down in there before I can throw no head on it. So in the meantime, <clears throat> I have another mower with uh, that's pretty much out of service that has a next to brand new 27 horse Kawasaki on it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that mower and pull the motor off of it. And we're going to go continue to pull this motor off and then we will uh, swap. So that's where I'm at right now. So um, I'm going to continue on and, and tear this engine out. So stand by. Yeah, well, I, uh, I screwed up one thing here uh, when I said that you needed to take the coil off before pulling the head. I thought the coil was connected to the head, but it's not. It's connected to the block. So you can leave your coil on. Uh, now that mine's off, I have to put a, um, like a business card in here and reinstall the coil, and that gives me my clearance pretty close to where it needs to be and then I can do fine adjustments later but uh, I want to put this motor back together <clears throat> and set it aside uh, until I get to tackle uh, what's the real underlying issue here so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing off and get the other motor ready alright got ahead of myself but uh, next thing you're gonna want to do to pull the motor off is pull off the PTO clutch and it's just a 5 8 inch or 5 8 inch head bolt on the bottom of the motor uh, take the belt off pull that bolt the clutch will just fall out in your hand if you got to tap on it with a rubber mallet uh, sometimes they're a little stuck on there no big deal uh, and then there's four engine mounts uh, on each corner and I got them off with a 13 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter wrench and 13 millimeter socket on the end of the impact with the extension I was able to hold on to the nut on the top of the uh, motor and with the impact go underneath and drive it off uh, and here I just put a, so or a uh, wrench on the nut and the impact underneath and got them off so now the engine 
is ready to come out but I just have to re uh, take off a few like I took off the one cable here for the let's see which one this is the uh, throttle and now I gotta take off the cable for the choke no actually no I don't I just gotta pull this pull this off pull this governor plate off and the spring like that okay so that's out of the way and now I gotta take off a couple of electric connections over there and then I think I'm ready to go so let me uh, pop this out and we'll see what it looks like alright well when you pull the uh, motor mounts out there's ground wires on the bolts themselves um, so anyways those just kinda stay where they are I had to undo the starter wire and there's another I think this wire I had to unplug and the rest the rest is outside the mower so not too big of a deal I'm gonna clean this engine compartment up real good here and then I'm gonna go over and grab that other motor and we'll back in a minute all right now that the engine is out of the way I got this cleaned up pretty decent um, all my wires look good there's no frays there's no uh, corrosion everything seems to be pretty good so I will get this out of the way and uh, move this mower out of the way and go get the other one and bring it in here and pull that engine off and then uh, I'll be back to you as soon as we get situated alright well here we are all with the old and with the new uh, I just pulled the other mower in here and pulled this off real quick and show that dismantled part because it's pretty much the same as this one but uh, there it is I think this one is a uh, 27 horse Kawasaki I believe but uh, you know it's whatever it's better than that one so I'm gonna throw this one on here and we'll get it all hooked up and see if it works huh, well that sucks that exhaust doesn't fit on this deck so I'm gonna need to take the exhaust from the other one and uh, put it on here so I gotta take this back off and remove the exhaust alright well it's back on uh, got the exhaust tightened up I had to modify the uh, stopper for the uh, blade PTO clutch because the PTO clutch on the other motor was different style and so I just had to do some modifications so that wasn't any really big deal uh, motor mounts bolts went through nice got them all tightened up uh, this clamp here is old and worn out I gotta replace that but uh, I sprayed the cylinders with WD and turned it over a bunch of times and then hooked up fuel and got it to fire so she's ready to go and now I just got to do a quick oil change and air cleaner and we're ready to go so that's it for this one and then this motor over here is uh, got some issues so we're gonna dive into that I'll probably make a, uh, a video on rebuilding that but uh, until the next time uh, thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe have a great day